Okay, in today's video we'll be, we will be installing NetBSD version 4.0. NetBSD is a flavor of the BSD operating system specifically designed for portability. It works on a huge array of different platforms including PlayStation's embedded platforms and a lot of older hardware which allows you to take older machines that are not that useful and actually make them worth having. Okay, so the first step is to select which language we'd like to install in. We'll select English, select our keyboard type, English again, and we will install NetBSD. Here we see the process of what is going to happen. It's going to partition our disk, create the file system, load the system files, do some initial configuration, and then reboot, and we'll be in NetBSD. Here we select which disk we would like to use. There's only one on this system, so we will just use it. The next step is to select which install we'd like. We'd like to customize, so we just save time. We will take the compiler tools so that we can make some software, and we'll make sure that X is not included because we're trying to save time, so we'll install just the bare minimum here. So, install selected sets. This is the geometry of your hard drive, pretty standard stuff. This is correct. I would like to use the entire disk instead of a master boot record. Uh, this makes it incompatible with dual booting, but it gives you that much more space to work with. Yes, I would like to replace the boot code with the NetBSD booter. Yes, I would like to set the partition sizes. We will put 5 gigs for here, 5 gigs for here, and 1 gig over here. It's good, except partition sizes. This is what the disk will look like after. As so we can see, we have our three mount points, slash, slash USR, and slash var. Now we will name the per, uh, partition that we're creating, the disk. So if you have multiple disks, you can name them so it makes it easier to figure out which one's which, so you don't accidentally erase the wrong one. Yes. Now it gives you your last chance to back out before it blows away your whole hard drive. Yes. And here we go, formatting the hard drive. As you can see, it's using the utility new FS to create the partitions. This should just take a few seconds. Run new FS for each of the mount points that we created. Okay. We will use the BIOS console if you, for example, do not have a screen connected to the system, you can make it connect via the COM port or whatever. Put the BIOS here, we will put the progress bars on so we can watch how the install goes. And we will install from a CD. You can also install from the network or from the images that you already have on the computer. This is the, we want the i386 set and continue. And this is the install beginning. As you can see, it's fairly quick. There's not that much that we're installing here, just a basic system to get started. It's kind of cut off in the video here, but at the far edge you can see an ETA, which is currently at 30 seconds. That is for this set, and there will be a few different sets. But you'll find the install to be amazingly quick. While we're waiting, we can cover our sponsors. Our sponsors are Thunder IT Consulting Inc. They develop custom web applications and do remote server administration and anything like that that you need. Serverbolt.com is the place to go if you need a dedicated server. They provide the quality servers that you need at the low price. And they also do dig proof hosting. If you need a website, if you have a website or a forum or a blog that needs to be able to handle being dug, but you, you don't need an entire dedicated server yet, they have some systems they can put you up on. They put a couple of sites on each system. It's like sharing a dedicated server with your friend, but managed by the ISP so you don't have to fight over the bill every month. And shellfusion.net. They're the, a premium IRCD hosting company. 
They provide if you need an IRC server, an IRC bot, a uh, 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 IRC proxy like a BNC. They have been in business for over five years, and they have a huge amount of experience, and some of the best servers out there. And the install is almost complete now. And there we go. All selected distribution sets have been unpacked, making the device nodes done. And there we go. The extraction of the selected sets has been completed. The system is now ready to boot from its hard drive. So we'll go over some basic configuration here, selecting our time zone. We're in Ontario, Canada, so we'll go for Toronto. Uh, we will use Blowfish in, uh, password encryption, because it's the strongest. Uh, we won't set a root password just yet. We'll use KSH for our shell. And there we go. We are done. Let's reboot the computer. Just quickly here, we will... CD uh, system set. And just restart without the CD here. Yink. Okay, NetBSD is booting up for us, quick. Because we didn't install X or a lot of services, the boot will be fairly quick. Just enumerating the devices and loading the drivers. And the file system is clean. Booting the network interfaces. And we can log in. We're now at our shell. First thing we need to do, as you can see, we're not on the network. So we'll go DH client on the interface NE2. And there we go, we have an IP address now. So we can go out to the network. First thing we're going to do is install Lynx, the text-based web browser. So we will make a nice working directory, go there to links.isc.org. Log in as the FTP user. Release links 2.8.6. Quick download. Exit. Now we will extract. Now we can start by configuring links. This basically uh, takes a profile of the system, what libraries you have, what versions of different programs you have, so that links can compile and link to your system and enable the, the additional features that you have supported. For example, we don't have OpenSSL installed yet, so links will not be able to go to HTTPS sites. And there we go, it's finishing up, writing the configs, and we're done. So now we can do make, which will begin the process of compiling. This will take a while as well. So we're probably going to cut out now, and we'll come back when it's done.